The, uh, the utility of an ontology in the context of uh, progress, it is only at the point in time when we begin to formalize uh, the underlying classification structures that organize the laws of knowledge about whatever the subject is that you want to have to deal with. Up until that time, uh, all progress is made by trial and error, by uh, pra uh, sole practitioners uh, in, in the chemistry domain, they were called alchemists. They dealt with uh, creating uh, new chemicals by uh, employing what they had at their disposal, the implementations, compounds that they ever had at their disposal. It was only until Mendeleev uh, published the first version of the ontology, the periodic table, that, uh, that set the foundation for a discipline that we would now call chemistry. There were chemists before, but they weren't chemists, they were alchemists. And that now uh, order is established and there is a discipline called chemistry. Within 50 years of the publication of the uh, periodic table, the, the physicists and chemists were splitting atoms. For 7,000 years in uh, known history, uh, with the alchemists as, uh, as the practitioners, uh, they, they were not even aware of the uh, existence, practically the existence of the, of the atomic structures. It was only after the ontology was established that friction goes to zero. Now the progress in, in uh, research and development, things become reusable, things become repeatable, things become predictable. Uh, you have a uh, logic structure to anticipate uh, uh, the future. Uh, up until that time, uh, all progress was made by trial and error. Trial and error just takes a long time. And uh, uh, it, it, it would be a lifetime for somebody to figure out by trial and error how to create relatively simple, what we would think relatively simple compounds are. I think that is a good metaphor. So uh, at this point in time, if you want to deal with extreme complexity, extreme rates of change, you are going to have to have order. There will have to be, things will have to become predictable or reusable. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be able to accommodate the extreme complexity and high rates of change. So this is really a significant and uh, I don't think too many people have any idea the profound significance of this, uh, of the ontological structures. I think it's the order, the expression of the laws of nature, the, the physics of uh, the creation of an, a, a, what I would call engineering and manufacturing of complex objects like an enterprise, just as the periodic table served, or just as architecture for complex objects like buildings or airplanes or, 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 or locomotives. If we had not had the structure, the ontological structure for architectural descriptive representation, we would not have the complex objects that we are accustomed to having in day-to-day -day life today. So uh, an ontology is a really profoundly significant uh, development. And the ontology doesn't do anything in and of itself, but it forms the foundation for uh, uh, research and development, prediction, uh, you know, uh, 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 forecasting, uh, anticipating what the future looks like.